Hello everyone, this is a short video showing off my wired holographic keypad. Now, I'm sure some of you might be wondering, oh, why are you making a holographic keypad if there's already a keypad tool available? Well, due to the increased prevalence of my keypad hacker and other people's keypad hackers that I must say I haven't used, because I've got my own, um, which you can find in my channel uh, videos, by the way, um, there's a link to the code in that video's comment. Anyway, um, because of the increased use of them, I decided that I needed to make something that was more secure. Of course, it is possible to tweak my keypad hacker to hack what I'm about to show you, but it would be rather difficult and you would need some technical know-how. Anyways, without any delays, I shall place the keypad chip and it will start creating the numbers, and that is to prevent the issues with the wire hologram burst limits. Now after that's been done I must place a text screen with the model of the plate 025x025 which you can set in console commands like that and then you just place that one there and we wire the string to the string, the foreground to the foreground and the background to the background. Now, as you can see from this expression, um, all of the things are clearly defined at the top. So we have whether it is a secret output, um, whether you've out or what value is outputted in the not outputted, whatever uh, the output um, when you enter it correctly and when you enter it incorrectly, just like the normal keypad as well as how long you hold it for, and finally the code. So I've just done something silly and generic. So, when I go to the keypad and enter in the code, you can see it appearing on the screen, and then it enters. Now, unfortunately, I still haven't figured out how to get the sounds in, so just assume that it's making all of the keypad sounds, and you can hear those if you get it for yourself. Now, if I get uh, some explosives, and I place one there, and one there, and I wire them to that, make that one the correct one, and make that one the incorrect one, if I enter the code correctly, bang, if I enter the code incorrectly, the other one goes off, and of course it makes the different sound. On top of that, you can set it into secret mode, and I'll change the code, and I'll just replace the expression. It has to rebuild the keys, and once that's done, we can enter in our new code, which comes up as asterisks instead of the numbers and it works. So that's pretty much all there is to this keypad hacker. Um, if I whip out my... sorry not keypad hacker. Um, if I whip out the keypad hacker you can see that no keypads are found because this is not a keypad entity it is just a hologram on top of a plate. Um, that's all I really wanted to show in this video. Um, I will figure out some way to paste the code um, so that anyone who's interested can use it. Thank you for watching.